You know, there is a prayer that I have prayed before. I can remember the last time I did it, I had like five cruise selections that I could pick for the group upcoming. And I went to Micah 6 verse 8, and it says, God has showed you what is good. And I prayed for God to show me what was really good, not for me, but for my group. There is a direction that we can have in life when we don't know the way ourselves. There is a direction through the Spirit of God within you, showing you the good, the orderly direction that should be followed. Well, we all face puzzling situations, and maybe this weekend you're facing something where you just don't know what to do. You don't have a clue, and you want some kind of concrete direction that will show you the way to proceed. This is what we receive when we turn to the Spirit of God and pray for that direction. The guidance that we receive from God is never clouded, it's never confused. The guidance that we receive from God comes as good and orderly direction. In day-to-day -day matters, in complex issues, in situations involving ourselves and others, our guidance comes as answers that we can comprehend, that we can understand, answers that we can use, answers that are for the highest and the best good of all concerned, not just you. In prayer, our guidance begins as a feeling of renewed faith and confidence born in us. And out of this faith, well, our eyes are open to opportunities and possibilities that our fears and doubts may have presented, prevented us from seeing before. And we receive some totally new inspiration as we ask God for continuous direction in our lives. As we stay close to God in prayer, we can be sure that good and orderly direction will be ours. Again, I pray for you this weekend, if you're in a puzzling situation right now, and all of us are in a certain aspect of life, because that's living. Well, the answer is always to turn to God. And through the Spirit of God with you and within you, good and orderly direction will be yours.